morning class. This is your instructor, Skylar Huff. It's glad to be back. I hope you all enjoyed a safe and relaxing spring break. And of course, after seven days of break, we're now back to work. So this week, you all should begin the next module. We're here in module five, and in module five, it is all about human genetics and DNA, with a bit of biology and biotechnology included. Before I get into the module more specifically, I'm going to get to a few notes I have written down. So as far as the grading has been with the last homework assignment, what I saw was in answering those homework questions, please ensure you read the question fully and answer the question. What I'm getting to is, if in fact it says that you all should define, surely define the term using your textbook. Thereafter, if it says to describe, yes, you should describe and tell all about that. And if it says to diagram, there should be a drawn diagram. And especially if it said to use a Punnett square, there should have been a Punnett square there, seen, and of course showing the test cross, or at least you crossing those as stated. The last thing I'll get to is, of course, if it says to list those phases of the cell cycle, it includes both principal phases as well as the subdividing phase of each of those phases. The final note I have is, is if in fact you have missed a test in this class, please bear in mind that taking your final exam will replace that missed test. If in fact you've missed two tests, taking the final exam will of course replace one of two of those missed tests, and of course the other test will be a zero. In the meantime, let's get back to human genetics and biotechnology. So you have three chapters in this module. So of course it's chapters 11, chapter 12, and chapter 13. In chapter 11, this will be all about DNA, referred to as deoxyribonucleic acid. It is genetic material. Thanks a lot, Hershey and Chase. And then thereafter, we'll get into how genes work. So if you go to that central dogma of DNA, from DNA you go to RNA by way of transcription, and then from RNA to proteins by way of translation. Make sure you take your time as you go through those things. And then last in the 13th chapter, we get into DNA biotechnology. And I would say this new biology with biotechnology is one of the most amazing fields of biology. And if ever there are questions, please let me know. So as far as labs are this week, there are two of those labs. The first of two labs class is going to be human genetics. So take your time and I hope that you enjoy what you do in that lab. And then the second of two labs is DNA and biotechnology, and it's many applications. Lastly, keep in mind that all of the work you're doing here is due April 15th, the 15th day of April at 11.59 p.m. Please ensure that all homework is done and submit it into a single file and upload it into the appropriate place at training.com by way of Canvas. The very same way, class, those two labs I just mentioned are due that very same time. And the final thing I'll get to is going to be your genetic disorder presentation. So the genetic disorder presentation is where you all will go to the link that I have at Canvas, located in Module 6, and you'll use that link to, of course, begin your genetics disorder presentation. This will be a PowerPoint presentation in which you will have, I say, no more than 12 slides, including your title slide and reference slide, describing this disorder in its entirety. So what you will do is use the grading sheet that is also at Canvas to create this presentation. As stated, it will be no more than 12 slides, and that includes both the title slide and your reference slide. Throughout the, throughout the presentation, there will be your content consisting of the history of your disorder. You will describe the disorder completely. You'll give the cause of the disorder, how it's diagnosed, how it's treated, and what can be done to prevent it if there is a way to prevent it. You should also have visual aids in there, and of course I'll look for those spelling errors, grammar, grammatical errors, and of course seeing how neat the presentation has been. As always, let me know if I can help. Enjoy your learning this week, and if I can help, just let me know. Have a great day and a great week, and thank you all for doing the work well.